Erev Tov. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. It has actually come under the first attack. A small band of ISIL uh, soldiers actually came in and attacked the Al uh, the uh, Ain Al Assad military base, the U.S. military base. They were killed by the Iraqi uh, soldiers there in in uh, Ain Al Assad, and but it only begins to question whether or not the Iraqi soldiers will be able to handle if an all-out attack comes from ISIL. Uh, let's take a listen here at the news coming uh, out of uh, out of Al Jazeera. Cells from ISIL activated themselves. They took over parts of the center of the town and mounted attacks further out with the aim of getting to Ain al Assad Air Base. Now, what we're hearing is that the area has been cleared by Iraqi security forces of those fighters, but according to local sources, there are a number of ISIL fighters still within the center of the town itself. Also, what we're hearing is reinforcements have been sent in by ISIL from the west, and that's becoming a problem as well. So to wrap up, what St. Comic told us is there was an attack on the base. That's the first time ISIL have got so close to a coalition airbase, but they say their soldiers weren't under threat and the Iraqi security forces dealt with those ISIL fighters coming in. This is weaker, but I think this attack shows us that the data is really important to look at and that real data, numbers of fighters, amount of territory under control, would show that the Islamic State is still quite formidable. So do people in Washington need to be more careful then with that narrative you talk about that, that, that um, the fight against ISIL is being won? Another interesting point from Al Jazeera as they made there too is that the U.S. claims that they've done a lot of damage to the Islamic State ISIL but uh, as, as the evidence actually shows, they've done very little damage in the bombing campaign that they have been doing with coalition forces. It says that only pr approximately 1% of ISIL's forces uh, have been lost as a, as a result of that. And if the body count is, is true, then they've only lost 10% of their, man, uh, their military force as far as uh, manpower which they are constantly recruiting and getting more fighters in. Uh, there again, we may have we also uh, concerned about the fact that who created the uh, the ISIS group to begin with, known as ISIL now. Uh, very interesting because the U.S. fingerprints seem to be all over that as well. And one reason why the U.S. president may be slow to react uh, in defense of the U.S. Marines there on the base in uh, Ain al, uh, Ain al um, Assad. But uh, it, it, is, uh, it is a fact that uh, something should be done, especially seeing as there was a small band of ISIL uh, soldiers that came in to, uh, earlier today and attacked the base there in Iraq. And the U.S. president should be doing something to better arm and equip the soldiers that are on the ground there, as well as even considering uh, a, a, an air assault campaign of wiping out any of the uh, ISIL uh, components that may be in and around uh, the area there of uh, al-Baghdadi. I'm Stephen Benoon, and you're watching Israeli News Live.